Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. We have a Peugeot partner to look at here. Okay, inside the vehicle, it's due a service by overdue by 35,800 miles. So it's been impeccably maintained, as you can see. We have a little hazard triangle sign down there. Uh, usually on these, yeah, there we go. You get give it a few seconds, you get all sorts of errors come up. Additive level low as well. Okay, I'm gonna use the Eurotab 3 scan tool today. This is uh, from launch. Okay, we have a 2015 Peugeot Partner B9. Do a high speed scan. Just about done. Just trying to find that last module there. Can't find it. BSI ACM we have P1445 additive adding. So I've just been told by the customer that that has already been done. Additive adding calculated lower than the minimum threshold. Measurement of the temperature, emission filter, plausibility on starting. Fixed geometry tur turbo position incorrect in relation to the reference value. Not enough turbo charging. Air circuit, quantity of cold air is greater than the setting. EGR valve position incorrect. Mixture in the circuit, oxygen concentration too low at full load. Okay, so I've been told the additive has been done. Um, so he just wants me to reset that basically, as well as maybe the DPF. Um, all of these other codes, EGR, air mixture, oxygen, air quantity, greater than the setting and the geometry of the turbo, not enough turbo charging, is all pointing to me like the vehicle may have a boost leak. Um, so the customer is just saying to me now that he just wants everything reset but I'm kind of trying to tell them that that's going to be a little bit pointless just resetting everything because uh, he said he's well he's had his additive tank filled up but it's not just the additive tank we've got a bigger issue going on here so we're gonna to have to maybe do a smoke test we'll get the bonnet open and have a look inside okay have a look around the engine here there's a lot of oil around this area Usually we get oil around here, but that's nice and dry. That's quite normal there. You always see a little bit of leakage from the gasket on there. It's never usually a problem, really. But this is, looks like it's going to be the area, uh, the hair that's causing an issue. So just pull that off. So connect my smoke machine in here, connect it onto the power supply, we just switch it on. So this is a smoke one machine. So that will push some smoke through we just turned it on so it may take a minute so we're probably going to see some smoke coming from this area oh there we go where is that coming from So I'll make sure it's coming from the actual holes, not somewhere else. It looks like it's coming from it's hard to hard to pinpoint where it's where exactly it's coming from, but I'm gonna get these two hoses off. Okay, so we found a leak. It's not even visible by eye, look. It's just because we've got the smoke machine on it. So I just need to see if I've got pipe that will fit that. I do have some in here but these look shorter. Okay so I don't have the correct size 
boost holes for this so we're gonna have to order one unfortunately and it's gonna take a few days at least to get her okay so for now we've just fitted these back to the van so now what I'm doing is just telling the vehicle that the additive tank has been filled up and to confirm that we're gonna to go to the live data and just see make sure it is uh, reading that there is some in there okay so that's now giving us a reading there okay so by resetting that we should now no longer get the beeping come up on here and then we've also got no fault codes present now so these fault codes will come back after the vehicle's been driven of course we've still got a boost leak um dpf hasn't been cleaned not that i think of, well i think this guy has um done the additive tank himself so he's, he was basically just coming here for a, a straight up reset but obviously when i done a scan i found these issues um i can't get hold of the boost pipes today um it's going to be a few days but i've got quite a feeling that He's probably not going to return for me to do that. He's probably just going to do them on his own. But it sounds, he sounds like someone who just does his own repairs, really, but didn't have a machine capable of resetting it. Um, so I think we found the issue. Um, I've just got a feeling that the customer is going to resolve the rest of it himself once he goes away and order the parts. Um, so might be the end of the end of the video here for this van. Um, right, so we're going to go outside. So that's it. We're all finished on the Peugeot Partner. See you in the next video.